If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guide. And today, we're going to be going over the Madden market, as I usually do on a Legend Saturday. See how the Kevin Mawai and the packs and everything did impact things. Because as you guys know last week, last week, the market was crippled by Legend Fantasy Packs. I don't think they were as juiced this week. I think that was more like a one-time thing last week. But again, we're going to go overlook it and check everything out. First off, guys, for the Poodle Squad today, before we get into this Legend Market video, shout-out to Brandon Camarillo for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Shout-out to you, man, for being a part. Thank you for showing support. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for being a part of what we're doing here. But if you guys want to be shouted out, all you guys got to do is like the video. I'm down below Poodle Squad. And of course, be subscribed and turn on the notification bell as well. Now, moving on, guys. If you guys do any coins or anything we're going to be looking through today, some market stuff, taking advantage, make sure you head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Coins are discounted. You can buy the legends directly on there as well. And training. So if you need it, use code Poodle. Take advantage of discounted coins and use it for an additional 15% off. But let's start from the top. Starting off with these now, these were dipping for a little bit when I first got on this morning. So I actually did see a Deion Sanders, if you guys watched my video. I saw it for 400 and I believe it was 77K. That of course was a snipe. But the point being is that they are coming down because Deion was a little over 600K. And now Vic's staying around his regular range. I mean, these haven't been touched too much because remember they are LTD, so I guess they can't really be pulled anymore. So honestly, kind of, they, they must, a lot were pulled. For an LTD to be out of packs like Vic and Dion and still be this cheap. That's my take on that. But for the most part, Kevin Mawai just dropped. He's already, he's already 500k. Of course, he is he's a center. It's going to happen. But that is the LTD version, which is kind of concerning that it's that cheap already. Now, if the LTD Kevin Mawai comes down to even like 380k or 400k, I'll probably pick him up. It's a great value for a 92 overall center, in my opinion. That's really just not bad. And the Mean Joe Green as well, 590 now 588 actually if these keep coming down i'm probably gonna end up picking up both if they come down to cheap enough price go sell some stuff pick up some coins the thing with them is they're not even as popular as vic or dion and they're vic and dion are this cheap so you you have to imagine they come down this cheap the only difference is going to be packs shouldn't have been as juiced but clearly the demand is showing i, I guess i think it's gonna be a vic and dion are this cheap why should kevin why or um me and joe gonna be any more expensive and i guess that's a fair argument to make there Again, am I buying right now? Um, Barry, no. Still still too expensive for my blood, unless you're like a super god squad. Uh, Vic and Dion are still great buys to me. Kevin Mawai and Mean Joe Green. If Kevin White enters 380-ish or low 400k, I think he's a buy. If Mean Joe Green enters low 400k, I think, honestly, no. Mean Joe Green enters 300k, he's as well a buy. Right now, still too expensive. I mean, he's a great player. I would not buy them for more than Vic and Dion. I mean, that's just my opinion. Those are two of the greatest players in Madden history versus two players that are sent like two positions where people could really care less sometimes not that they're not important but could care less now team of the week cards are super cheap guys honestly i recommend you take advantage of these if you find some team of the week cards like shaq barrett's a decent pretty good pass rusher honestly i don't think he's a bad value for like if you're a guy like when you're no money spent guys this is, these are the cards you want to use right so it's like do you go for let's say lawrence taylor's cheap so he's not the best example right now but let's say there was a outside linebacker that was 400k name brand or shaq barrett who's good but not insane but he's a 93 power move. You could easily just power him up, chem him up, and you have a top tier pass rusher. Why go ahead and spend the extra coins when Shaq Barrett's going for super cheap? Team of the Week cards are super cheap, and I highly recommend you guys take advantage of them. I'm a buyer on Team of the Week, in my opinion. And if I need, if I need that card at that position, I think it's a great buy. Um, Vincent Jackson's super cheap. Honestly, surprising, guys. I thought Vincent Jackson was kind of a goon. I'm going to individually separate them, though. Let's start with the Reduxes here. So, for the series Redux, who's worth it here to buy? Uh, John Lynch is too expensive, in my opinion. Uh, Junior Seau is a little expensive as well. Let's see. TJ Watt's a decent... It's like TJ Watt. Would you go TJ Watt or would you go Shaq Barrett? Now, here's the thing. TJ Watt doesn't have the block shed, and he has the same finesse move, so I'm probably going Shaq Barrett. So uh, Price-wise, right? Um, if he had block shed, it'd be different, but they both don't have great block shed. Brandon Cooks isn't a buy, in my opinion. None of these Reduxes really are a buy, in my opinion, so I would probably stay away from the Reduxes. Let's go to the NFL. Let's go to the 50. The 50 is interesting here because Vincent Jackson, 200K. I think that's a buy. I think that's a buy. You power him up. If you can't afford his power up, of course, you end up getting a top tier, like a top tier speed for the most part, top tier catcher, six foot five, and the route running is there. All you got to do is go deep on him and you have a go deep fiend while also having a great catcher. Now, I don't think he's the best wide receiver in the game, but I think he's up there. I think he's great. Let's see what else we're working with. Walter Jones actually went up in value, which that, that, that's a weird predicament there because I did not expect that. 
so did Jimmy Graham. So I think it's actually time to sell. I think some of the, I think the 50 players, you want to be selling some of them at this point. Let's see, uh, Ryan Jays here is cheap as well. So that's weird. So the new ones are cheap and the old ones are actually going up in value. I guess because I don't know if you can't pull the week ones out of packs anymore or something, which I don't think that's the case. Reggie Bush is back up as well too. Okay, so now honestly guys, this is a weird predicament. So I would honestly buy some of the newer ones like Taylor Mays. 342 is not a bad value. Vincent Jackson, 200K is not a bad value. But it may be time to sell the other ones and see kind of what you could work with from that standpoint. Honestly, not a bad idea at all. Let's move on from the 50. Let's go over to the Legends and see what we're working with there. So for the Legends, Dan Marino, I don't think so. I mean, if you're a budget team, he's a buy. I just don't like him on a regular team. Richard Seymour, these guys are cheap. I mean, they're buys. If, if you need them, they're buys, right? I don't think, go, I don't, I'm not saying don't go ahead and just buy them because I say so. If you were looking at these cards, good prices. I would probably buy. Junior sale, good price. I would buy. Tony Gonzalez as well. Like, again, if you need them, don't buy them just because I'm saying they're buys. Like, there's guys that are like, oh my God, 80K, buy them now, sell them later. No, it's not like that. This is saying Dan Marino for 90K as one of the best quarterbacks in the game. You could, If you're a pocket passer and that's who you want to buy. Reggie Wayne, a buy. Now, Lawrence Taylor is 100%, 115% a buy. At 250K, you could probably snipe him for like 230, 240. Please take advantage of that. Bo Jackson, if you're, I don't like Bo Jackson personally, but if you guys like him, cheap price to buy as well. Vic's a super buy, 278. Are you kidding me? That's a crazy buy. That's a buy and a half. You definitely want to take advantage of uh, Michael Vick. Michael Vick and Lawrence Taylor. And now as far as the LTD goes, like uh, Dion's a good buy as well. Again, you could always get the LTD if you want for the extra 100. Uh, well, for it's like 150K extra for both their LTDs. So you could take your, it's, it's going to be the same thing. They kind of worked their way out. It does appear as though they have worked their way out to being like regular cards. You know what I mean? They've worked their way out. to. It makes sense now. Before the LTDs were a big price discrepancy. Now it's pretty much, the, the difference is the power price. So, I mean, it, it kind of makes sense. Plus the training. Now, in terms of the new Mean Joe Green, what is he sitting at? I see 379 now. Let's see if that's the official price. 369, if he gets into the 200K range, I think that's a buy over the uh, LTD. Honestly, that's a great value. I'm going to go take advantage after this video. I'm going to go sell some of my 100, my, my the 50 players. I'm going to show you guys that. So, I'm not going to be doing the lower spectrum of the market there. I'm trying to focus on the top. Prices are getting cheap to where the lower ones don't matter as much, per se. Uh, you guys know those don't move too much. You can sell and do as you please with those. The, it's more the big ones that you can, there's a big value difference day to day. So, for me, guys like Jimmy Graham, probably gonna be probably gonna be a sell at 311 i feel like that's just a great sell i got him for like 280 i could sell him i, I don't make any money back but i don't lose value because he was going for cheaper uh walter jones as well got him for like 215 might be a sell as well and now let's see if the other market is trending the same way you got about no miles garrett's sitting around regular so it just seems like the older 50 players are actually going up so honestly if you guys have some of the older ones and you feel like you made a good value on those i think you should go ahead and probably sell that's just my opinion on that. Now I'll see a base leads. Base leads are looking. Oh, base leads are looking back up too. Okay, so I'm thinking it's base leads. If, they've, if your base leads have risen, you sell the base leads and you sell week one the 50 players if the price is right compared to what you paid. Remember, if I paid 350 for Jimmy, 311 for Jimmy Graham is not that great. If I paid 270 for Jimmy or 280 and it's 311. I'm getting my money back at least and then i can save that for when they, they eventually crash again because you know i was already kind of upset that i paid three uh 280 for jimmy because i was right at 250 i was like oh, i could have waited a little bit but if i can get my money back and then wait for the next drop again not bad but guys that pretty much wraps up today's market video i think i covered everything i really want to cover in this video um again i got reggie wayne for like 135 so again i'm making some coins not a lot not nothing to write home about but again it's still a decent value in terms of picking up some of the new players but guys, better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Again, Poodle Squad shout out. If you want a chance to be shouted out, like the video, comment down below, Poodle Squad, and of course, turn that noty bell, boys. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. I greatly appreciate that. And if you guys need coins for any of the players to pick up, all these buys I've been saying, if you need them, my reserve down below. Coins are discounted. Use code Poodle. You can also pick up the brand new Legends and the brand new 50 players from yesterday directly on there as well. It's a little bit safer in terms of coin stuff. But that's better for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.